Hello and welcome to another episode of Laravel Tips, Tricks and Packages, a useful video series where I show you some of the features and packages that you can use within Laravel. So somebody's asked me how they can limit the length of a string within Laravel. So I've just quickly created some fake data here, which just gives me some random strings of text for a title. And if you're not sure how to create fake data in Laravel, see my previous video in this series where I show you how to create factories to generate fake data just like this. The problem here is the strings for the title are up to 150 characters long. So as you can see, it breaks down on two lines. So on a lot of websites and applications, you'll see that developers actually limit the number of characters being put out onto a screen, especially when you have multiple lines of data like we have here. So you'll often see that they might show, say, the first 50 characters of the title in our case here, and then put dot, dot, dot at the end of it indicating that there's more to the title and then you'd click on it and go to another page and it would show you the content in full. So let's look at how we can do this in Laravel and we can do this in Laravel using the new fluent strings interface in the helpers. Now you do need at least Laravel 7 or above to be able to use this. So over in the project just to show you what's actually going on here behind the scenes so I'll just have a simple index method that's showing the home view and I'm passing in posts and I'm just grabbing the first 10 posts. And then the blade view will loop and over and output in the details. And as we can see here, that's our title that we're outputting that's currently going over two lines. So over in our controller, let's just do a quick example of how we actually use this string helper. At the top of our file, we want to use illuminate support str. And then that gives us access to all the fluent strings methods. So I'm just going to create a quick variable here called string. I'm going to set this to a string. And then I'm just going to copy the text of the first one here. But feel free to put any string in that you like. And now if we just die and dump with a DD on this string. Then back over on our page. We can see it dumps out the string for us. So now let's apply the limit. So the first thing we need to do is call that fluent strings helper. So we can do that with an str. Then it has a static method on it called of. And we want to create a fluent string of our string up here. So that creates the fluent string for us and then we can just chain on other methods that we want. And in this case we want limit. So we can just call limit and then we can say how many characters we want to limit it to. So for the sake of this I'm just going to limit this to 40 characters. So we just save this and then refresh in our browser. You can see now that has limited our string to the first 40 characters and then put our three dots at the end. That's great. That's exactly what we wanted. We wanted to limit the string to the first 40 characters and there we go. It's done it. Now it's also worth mentioning if you don't want the dot 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 as the indicator here, you can actually pass a second option into limit and tell it what you want instead. So you could put literally anything here on the end of the string. Let's just take a quick look at that. So after the 40, you're just going to put a comma and then we can just give it a string of what we want. So it doesn't really make much sense, but let's say we want star, 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 for example. So we just pass that as a second parameter. Now if we just give this a refresh, we can see now it adds the three stars instead. But I'm just going to leave this as the default with the dots because that makes the most sense to me. But just be aware that is an option. So there is another method within the fluent string library that we can use for this, and it's called words. So let's give this a try. So instead of limit, we're just going to use words here. And let's say we want to limit it to the first eight words. So if we just save this now and then we refresh. We can see what it's done now is outputted the first eight words of the sentence. So it prints out the full words and doesn't cut them off when the character limit is reached. So this probably looks a lot better from an end user's perspective. So now we know how that's done. Let's look at how we can actually use this within our view. So over in our blade file, I'm just going to come down here where we're listing out the title. Now what we can do is we can call that fluent string helper directly in our blade file. So we want to call in that illuminate support str, just like we did at the top of our class file. And then we want to do the of method. And we want to make a fluent string of our post title. And then we could call the limit, but I'm going to use the words here because it makes more sense for me. So I'm going to call words. And I'm going to limit this to the first 10 words. So over in our browser, if we just give this a refresh, and we can see now each title has been limited to the first 10 words. 
So that's great. From an end user's perspective, this is exactly what we wanted to achieve. 